Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Mother 3. Last time we were here saving in the sanctuary. What an odd place. Oh yeah, but the freaking forest is still on fire. We gotta go check that out. This is a big, or a big emergency, so I came to help out. But Ed will let me through. I can be useful too, you know, I'm not just some annoying onlooker. Where's the fire? Is it on fire? Oh, I bet it's a big, giant, foresty fire. That's horrible. Flint, thank heavens you're here. I think Lighter and few are still stuck in the forest. Don't worry, I hold back these rubberneckers. Just hurry up and find them. What the hell's a rubbernecker? Where'd you get that cool fedora, man? Who's this guy? <coughs> oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw something as manly as me walking this way. The smoke is terrible, and with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please, let it be of use. And we get a nut cookie. I think I'll give you a nut cookie every time you talk to him. Nut cookies uh, heal 10 HP, I believe. 15, wow. Go above and beyond, nut cookies. So we just continue on here. It's a bat! Our first enemy in the game. Well, first, uh, what's it called? First real enemy, non-scripted enemy. So yeah, Flint is kind of slow. And, uh, yeah, it, hold on, I'll... Uh, how do I explain battles? Alright, so... Basically, they'll have a series of commands during battle in which you can, you know, attack or use a special skill, of which Flint has a few. Um, Flint is very strong and very slow. However, he's a bit on the, on the defensive side, so he won't take as much damage. Also, we have an assistant in battle, who is, uh, Thomas. Thomas will do a random action, most likely he'll do nothing, so it'll be like, he'll, uh, he'll sound his siren or he'll do something equally stupid. Um, I'll go in more into battles later, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of them. And we'll save my game, why not? They give you a lot of save points around here, so. So let's go, and as you can see, we got an Ares bracelet, so I'm going to go and equip that. I'll raise our defense by three, which is nice. Let's talk to this guy. Where could Isaac be? I don't know where Isaac is, actually. So let's come over here, and this is called a spa, or a, uh... Hot springs, yeah, that's it. Spa. There's no need to rush. Five seconds rejuvenates. Kokori spring water. An extra syllable. I don't get the pun there. So yeah, these are the uh, hot springs. They'll heal you and provide some pretty interesting scenery, I might add. Uh, they'll heal you fully, and I believe they give you back all of your PP, but we'll get back into that later. Your side points. Oh god, another Mr. Batty. Yeah, so pretty much battles are pretty simplified. After um, a few battles, I'm probably just going to start editing them out. So that way you guys don't have to keep watching this. Trippy backgrounds, though, in all these battles. Who's this guy? Oh, Flint. <laughs> I've breathed in too much smoke. Lighter and his sun fuel still aren't back yet. I'm pretty sure they're stuck inside the forest. <laughs> don't worry about me. Go help them. Alright, we gotta go help them. No matter what it takes. Holy Christ, this place is on fire. If you step on the fire here, it'll take some damage. It's not too much, but it can be a pain, so don't just, you know, run through the fire like a crazy person. What's going on here? It's one of those pig guys. How is he... Oh no. Fireflies! And no, not the hit television series. No, I'm talking about evil firefly. Did he just run through the fire? He shall lead us. Well, he set off some fireflies. Here we got a uh, baked ya monster, or I'm sorry, a ya monster. It's not. It doesn't become a baked ya monster till later. But as you can see, we got the we got the head on him. I'm sorry, the uh, what's it called? The surprise on him. So if you come at an enemy from behind, you'll be able to get a free turn in combat, which is very useful in this game. Also, these uh, these enemies can drop yams, which are uh, they heal 60 HP, I believe. It's something like that. Something ridiculous for that amount, or for uh, this point in the game. And like I said, I kind of suck at the uh, battles here, or the the music timing. So 
There we go. Another thing to note in battle is you saw when I got hit there, my HP didn't just, you know, it didn't just subtract the amount of damage I took. Instead, it rolled down to the damage I took. Like, in this case, if you beat them, before uh, the damage is done, it'll just stop whatever, or stop at whatever it was when the battle was won, so. He did 12 damage, I had like 76 HP, and it stopped at 71, so. That can be helpful if you want to stay alive. In fact, some enemies, you have to do that. So, yeah, you don't really need to, uh, keep battling these guys. There's no point, except for, I guess you can get a little experience here. The monster attacks, you monster. Yam monster. Ooh, Flint is now level 8. HP went up by 6, offense went up by 2, defense went up by 2, IQ went up by 1, and speed went up by 1. And there was some nut bread. Yay, nut bread. I'm absolutely nutty for nut bread. And yeah, you can avoid battles like that. So luckily you don't really have to fight battles in this game all like that. Are you okay, man? What? Is this is fuel? No, this is lighter. Lighter. Hey, lighter. Are you alright? Doesn't look like he's getting up, man. Flint. Oh, and Thomas. Damn it. <laughs> I try to beat these things up, but more just keep coming. I can't get past him. <laughs> what the hell are these things? You had a problem with that fly? What is that thing? A bug? <laughs> Dunno. They're going around the forest lighting fires. But never mind that. Fuel's still at home. What? Fuel's still in your shack? Flint, you go help fuel or you go help fuel. I'll look after lighter. Alright, sounds like a plan. So you can grab this. And you get lighter's lumber. Flint. If you're gonna use that lumber as a weapon. Be sure to equip it first. It's completely useless or useless otherwise. Yeah, or as useful as a carabao. So let's equip that. It lowers our speed a bit, but we don't really need speed. Oh Christ, bugs. No, they're gonna go for a triangle attack. I know they are. That's how bugs work. So here we have a firefly and his cohorts. So if you counter a group of enemies, they're actually called cohorts in this game, so... Uh, so let's check out Flint's skills here. He has Swing, which uh, is a weaker attack, but it hits all enemies. He has Power Smash, which is a... Uh, what's it called? It's an automatic critical hit, pretty much. But uh, unfortunately, it has a low hit percentage. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for us, it didn't seem to have that problem. Strengthen up, uh, I believe, makes our attack stronger and toughen up, ups our defense. So let's do a swing. So the fireflies can breathe fire, which does a lot of damage. It's pretty much the same as a uh, PK fire, which we'll get into later, I suppose. Oh, he just fired up and charged. There we go. And we took him out. So they're not that hard to beat. They can be kind of a pain, but we found some nut bread. That's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go save uh, fuel, shall we? But not before we eat some delicious nut bread and a nut cookie. Why not? Charge! So there's a frog in this bucket. Let's talk to him. Now, as you can see, we lost... Uh, Thomas there, but that's all right. It wasn't really helping much anyway. Help! Holy Christ, he's in there. What the hell is that? Some kind of rat? All right, let's hurry up and save him. So yeah, you have to bust in the door and then try to go up the stairs, and this thing will stop you. Wonder what the hell it could be? A flying mouse. Right, so you can go and use any of your moves here. I'm going to go for uh, Power Smash. Yeah, sometimes you can really get really lucky and just kill him in one hit. If not, I suggest using uh, maybe Strengthen Up and then hitting him twice or two or three times. It shouldn't be that hard. It's not that hard an enemy. But he goes away. We head upstairs. Holy Christ. I really need to save this kid. I mean, this place is coming down. All right, let's break on through this. Mr. Flint. 
and we took fuel into our care. So we're just that kind of cool guy. So let's get the hell out of here. Freaking burning house. Uh oh. Let's get the hell out of here, man. This looks like the house is crumbling. Damn. At least we got out safe, that's all that matters. <laughs> We're all covered in suit. Wah! I'm pitch black and covered in suit, but I'm alive. Oh, you're pitch black too, Mr. Flint. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Thank you so much, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Oh yeah, we need to let my dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. Alright guys, so I'm going to save here, and that's all for this episode of Let's Play Mother 3. Join me back next time when we take Fuel back to his dad. This has been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.